Trojans are dead. Long live the Sooners. <laughs> hey guys, Sooner Sun 2 here, and I hope you enjoy the new title sequence because, yes, I would make something like that. Uh, last night was an amazing game. Me and my three roommates, all four of us, were glued to the TV all night last night. And it got crazy here when the clock read zero. Everyone in my apartment complex, there were people running out the doors on the floor below us in other buildings, screaming, we're number one, we're number one. <laughs> and well, the truth is, we're not number one yet. Uh, the, the, the polls won't be released until next week, and we still have one game to go to make sure that we are number one. But I think we really should be number one. I mean, USC, they did a great job against Ohio State, but when you let an unranked team in your own conference put up three touchdowns on you in the first half with no resistance whatsoever, that's not playing like a number one team. And anything can happen in college football. This just goes to show it. But we've got an upcoming game against TCU, and this will be the deciding factor, which is the segue into my next topic, the TCU Horned Frogs. Okay. If Oklahoma wants to be number one, they're going to have to do really well against TCU this Saturday. And TCU... They've been a thorn in our side since 2005 when they upset us at home during our season opener 17 to 10. And that just leaves a bitter taste in your mouth no matter who you are. TCU, along with OSU, they are the only two teams to beat us at home under Bob Stoops' regime. And I, he, he would probably bet his salary that he has not forgotten that game. Let me tell you something right now. You don't forget one of two teams that upset you in your own stadium. The stakes are higher than they've ever been this weekend. TCU, they're ranked 24th in the country right now. They're the first ranked team we're facing this time around. So I think it'll be a good game. And I keep reading and hearing all these things about how TCU can really pull off the upset against us in Oklahoma. Now, I disagree. Here's why. TCU does have one of the top-ranked defenses in the country, apparently, and they are 4-0. They basically destroyed all of their opponents by a hefty margin. But I want to take a look at all the teams they've played. They destroyed SMU, Stephen F. Austin. Both those teams are at the bottom of their division, not even in our division. Now, Stanford, they beat Stanford. Stanford is a legitimate team. I mean, they upset USC last year. So, uh, kudos on that. But, TCU hasn't faced a team like us yet. It's going to be much more challenging for them. And I'm not saying they're a pushover. I'm not saying they're a pushover team. I think it's going to be a good game. It's gonna be, I, I think it's going to be closer than the last three games, obviously. But, it's... I think we're going to pull it off. No, I know we're going to pull it off. Bob Stoops, he kept saying he's been reminding his team over and over, been showing them the clips, telling them that, yes, TCU did this, they can do this, we're not going to underestimate them, we're going to take it to them, and we sure as heck aren't going to let this happen again. I mean, there are senior players on our team that for them, that TCU game was their first game. And we have the passion. We have everything going against us. You ever notice that whenever a team gives us a legitimate reason to be really angry, we come out and we play really well? Like Missouri, for instance. Missouri would not stop talking trash about us after we beat them at home last year, calling their loss a fluke. Well, getting a beatdown for the Big 12 championship isn't necessarily a fluke. Now, the exception is Texas, because we always have anger for Texas, but we don't always win against Texas. But I'm sure after losing to them for two years in a row, got us plenty angry enough to beat them by a touchdown last year. So, you can almost bet that we will be ready to face TCU. We will be angry enough, and we will not over... I'm sorry, we will not underestimate them this time because we know what they can do. They've done it before, but we're sure as heck not going to allow it again. So we're going to win. 
I'm saying it right here, right now. I will eat plenty of crow if I'm wrong, but I'm saying it right now. Here's my prediction. 38-17 OU. That's pretty much all I got to say. And TCU fans, if you're still talking about upsetting us, I mean, I'm not making excuses. Back in 2005, we played lousy. They played well. They deserved the win. I mean, we had a whole quarterback fiasco between Paul Thompson and he who must not be named. And we, had, we didn't have as many talented players on our team back then. We were kind of not really knowing who we were as a team yet. Because, I mean, really, who does during their season opener? Things are different. We didn't have Sam Bradford back then. I believe we are a much more efficient team this year than back in 2005. And really, I think it's going to be all the difference. And TCU fans, if you still think you can upset us, here's my personal message to you. i got to get out of here. I'm out.